Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. Excited after combining the Cybertron save and the Devastator save just before the stream yesterday. We had some hooking up to do, we have some repainting still left to do. I did a little bit for some screenshots in between streams, but I want to go into the Sunstreaker factory and change some of the uh, colors of the insides for that as well. And uh, I also want to take a look and see what we've done with uh, the small operations around the space elevator. We might want to delete some of that stuff. And we also have to take a look and see if the power is all hooked up now on one grid, because I want to make sure that we are all getting the benefits of the power augmenter from the, uh, the summer sloop. So uh, that's what's on par for the day. Uh, welcome back to all the, the returning folks in chat. Uh, obviously, Sweet Sandy's kicking around, Bally's around. Long live clone 99. Welcome back. Good to see you again. We've got Blast Jordan, Loki as well. And I think I saw uh, 0666 kicking around somewhere. And Mosaic Dream unboxed a set of Bluetooth earbuds that are supposed to be light blue, but they are definitely more green. <laughs> Sounds like your palettes are mixed up as well. Sweet Sandy, are they green tooth? Wow. Wow. Sandy with dad jokes, not... 30 seconds into the live stream. <laughs> oh boy. So let's just jump right in. I also have to look up um, some images. I don't have a lot of interior images of Sunstreaker. So I've got to find, I think, some um, footage on YouTube as well. Let's see here. Um Feel like the inside was mostly orange. We'll have to just kind of go in and mess around. So here we are uh, inside the, um, the Sunstreaker factory. It was a lot of green, so anything that was red was turned green. So I've gone through and I've made a lot of changes on the outside. So pop out here. It now looks a lot more like Sunstreaker which is great. Did not take very long. Uh, just a few minutes to do some repainting. Uh, inside, however, things are not quite uh, where I left them off. So we we'll go up here to the second floor. It's a lot of blue here, and this is all doing copper. So I'm pretty sure that I had all of these guys set to orange, uh, which would be this kind of setup here. So we're going to do that. because it's copper coming in and cable coming out, except for, uh, I want to say this one last one. I think this one is, yeah, that's, that's doing, um, that's black. So we're going to leave that as black. We'll do maybe, I wonder if this could be kind of fun. Actually, this is input, so we should have that all set up like this. I also think these were orange. Mosaic Dream loves dad jokes. The cringier, the better. That's kind of the point, right? I love a good pun. My life as a cartoonist, has always pulled me towards the punny. Uh, now these are circuit boards. I think I have to do a custom one for this because I do like the green and the yellow. So we're going to grab... So that's the yellow, I think. Grab that. Yep. 
And then the green, I think I have to look up the green that I was using because it's different. I don't think it's this one. I think we have to go with a different one. I wish we had more of these custom swatches. That would be really nice. It's very bright. And this has got, what, plastic and copper coming in. So the orange is the copper. And the copper is on, looks like, the left on each machine. And then that, this, I think, would also be orange. It's been really fun to make such bright, bright factories. A lot of primary colors in the transformers. Okay, I think that's good. So then it's just this section here, and I'm pretty sure that this stays blue because this is where the plastic comes down. And I, these are all stalled because we don't have any plastic coming in, but I'm pretty sure that this was all copper. So these are also very likely on the orange side. Now these are yellow lights. I think these are supposed to be orange. That's the wrong color. We've got this is the light color. Yellow. Let's not do that. We need our orange color. Orange, it's good. Looks a little bit more like it. So not as complicated as I thought. And I think the only thing left to do is we'll double check the train station upstairs. Pretty sure this was all yellow because of the, the outside. I wanted it to match the walls here. And that's another one meter floor hole that's going to be a problem as well. Till they fix that. Uh, this is all good. I don't see any issues up here. I do really like using beams to hide power. It's really convenient. I don't think we've missed anything on the back. Oh, hello. I'm not going to have enough power to get over there. Uh, let's just grab a foundation from somewhere. I forgot that, of course, we've not collected any of the uh, Mercer spheres from this area since 1.0. Ominous. Instruments echo in the deep. Do they not plug the shallow threads? Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. 
I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. You sing. Noted. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Uh, the electrical bars were yellow too, weren't they? The ones running above the machines. I think they were orange. I don't think they were yellow. I think they were orange. These ones? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were orange. That just goes to nowhere. And then down here, I'm pretty sure I just colored all the lines based on what was coming in. So this is all copper. And cable. Except for this one, because this one is black, because it's uh, cable coming out. No, uh, yeah, these are all wire and copper. And then this is copper sheets. And then anything blue is um, plastic. And then these are supposed to be green. That's the circuit boards. Cable. So yeah, we don't have any plastic. So we're not making any excess stuff. Cool, that took no time at all. Awesome. So we'll go double check the machines over at Wheeljack. I think they're going to be in the same situation. Oh, right, I need to start um, getting rid of this stuff too. I've done the full story with the space elevator, but I have uh, not got to the end with Ada. Not sure when where that will end up. So is it based on um, your collection of Mercer spheres and not your um, progress in the game, Sandy? Because that's really interesting. Let's change the default back. Um, concrete structure swatch. Tinder. No. Yes. Uh, concrete foundation. I could have sworn I finished this. I guess I didn't. Maybe I grabbed the wrong save. What is that? Weird. Yeah, I could have sworn I had that finished. We have a pet. Or a pest problem, depending on how you want to look at it. both sides that should be pretty easy to do you haven't been playing a lot since you got a puppy no i wouldn't be playing a lot if i had a puppy either 
I really wish my apartment would allow dogs. Oh, you're in the way, are you? Well then. Do I have? Probably not enough to do the trick. Completely missed, serves me right. At least I'll destroy the trees. And you're not gonna go anywhere. Sigh. He's probably stuck. Thank you. Oh, I did that differently on the other side, didn't I? That's fine. This guy just doesn't learn, does he? And now he's stuck again. That's an option I really hope they give us at some point, is the ability to delete uh, those creatures. They do not serve a purpose other than to get in my way. I feel like I had more of this figured out.
Man, I am pressing all the wrong hotkeys today. Oh, I don't have any lights on this side either, do I? I think I used the wrong save. I think I used the wrong save. That poor defenseless creature. It could have made a useful test subject, but you murdered it for your little factory. <laughs> Loki, thank you for the GLaDOS sticker and the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you don't even really get anything from them. It's it's very similar to like how Minecraft like discourages you from from killing certain animals by not giving you a reward. But then you're like, well, could you at least control them? You know? I feel like this is yeah, I'm missing some stuff here. Little dots there. Oh yeah, I'm missing those. And then those are out here. I thought I had done this whole room. Uh, yeah, I I grabbed the wrong save. That sucks. I really did grab the wrong save. Huh. I could have sworn I grabbed the right one. That or maybe some stuff just didn't come over. remember what height those are on. I think they're the same as the lights. Jay Christ, good to see you. Hello, hello. Yeah, I am definitely having to redo some stuff here. Well, that's annoying. I mean, better than having to rebuild the whole area.
But I definitely had other stuff going over here. Yeah, like this is... Oh, that's right. I had to re... Redo these too, didn't I? Yeah, I put a door here. And I made a little electrical room. Crap. Alright, well. I do know there's definitely some stuff messed up here. Oh, right. Well, I'm not redoing all of that. Right this minute. There's three of those. And there's that on the outside. Like it's already in the right place. This has got something on top of it. It's okay for now. That's where I think I put a beam or two beams. Yeah. Are there any Easter eggs in your world? Ones you put in, not the devs? Uh, no. No, I have not thought that far ahead. This goes. Oh yeah, I had tidied all of this up. Oh crap. I guess I'm gonna have to go and find that save and take some screenshots. annoying. Yeah, all of this was redone. I 
And this doesn't make any sense if we're not going to have the hub here, so we have to figure out what's going to happen there. <laughs> That's all green still, too. <laughs> Right, I guess the only thing I need to look at over here how we're doing for power. This should now be on like the 60,000. Yeah, 63. I'm getting 6,000 free from the power augmenter. Wood and leaves. Don't know if this has plastic. Oh, it does. And we don't have any plastic going up into the into the storage depot either. Mm hmm. -mm. that in there. That should start up again. And all this is just redundant because we've got um, aluminum processing at Devastator, so we could probably eliminate all this once I uh, make sure that the aluminum is being processed at Devastator properly. It's weird the hitboxes on some of these things. Rather than being out here in the dark, we will head back. Yeah, that's disappointing. I thought I grabbed the most recent save, but oh well. Might actually be a good time to grab a break, even though it's a little bit early. Isaiah B. King, hello, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yep, I think that's what we'll do. So let me just grab some timetable stuff. Cool. Um, normally I break once an hour. We're a little bit early today just because that's when the sun went down in the game. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys ride the brake train and I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
get out of this auto drive. We'll turn around and edit. Timetable as well and put Megatron on there. We'll just turn around in there. Sun is up, time to work, work, work. Sandy, thank you for the TTS sticker and the 200 bits. Yep, sun is shining, time to do stuff. Uh, and Loki, thanks for the kind words on the, the hover platforms. They've worked out quite well. It was a, it's a good idea and fits the theme, but then also really eliminates a lot of work. You don't have to actually attach the, your train tracks to the ground, you know? I need to figure out a permanent rail direction down this way. Obviously everything here is just hovering along on on temporary platforms. I've got to remember to make sure it's at the proper height when I do it too. These still look okay, though. They don't look like they're hovering. It's That's the design. They're not actually touching, but it's not enough of a, of a distance to actually read as hovering when you go by it. Back at Devastator. I don't even remember. I know where we were. I'm not exactly sure what the next step should be. Maybe the inside here? So we did all this. This is all cleaned up and ready now. That's all done. Doesn't have a back wall, but we don't know what's going back there yet. And then we were moving down along the lines. And I don't want to design this, of course, because I don't know what the machines are going to be that's going to, that are going to be inside of it. So, I guess we could start to f mess around with this building, because this building has got the inside guts are finished. Uh, this needs to be repainted, of course, because it's all wrong colors. But, we could certainly add some depth along here. Definitely need some window designs. I'd like to come up with a cool way for these to kind of come out and go down as well. And this is pretty simple. But we could easily... Um, those look like they're off-center somehow. Are those not straight? They should be. Huh. Um, I'd like to design something here that would look cool. So sort of look like what we've got going on over there. It'd be fun to do that. Even if we were to hide it, you know, like even if we were to have something like um, foundations that stuck out here. And then use the walls to kind of create maybe something that would stick out so it just looks like the stuff would be coming out of like a spout or something it could be interesting but it definitely needs some depth that's the main thing that i think it's missing we could also do some of these heavier pieces around the windows like the windows here i don't want to just do the same purple thing that we've done. I feel like we could do something a little bit more robust. Like maybe have the window go like half in, I guess. Oh, I don't have any plastic. That's going to be a problem.
Not a fan of the position of this hypertube, but we need it to stay for now. Anything else I'm short on? Looks to be okay. So as far as the window goes from the inside, I think it's pretty much centered. It could go longer actually. So we could take it all the way to here. Oh, that's why. Because those are there. That's fine. It's got two, one over there. And it's probably just one on this side over here. One and a half. Sort of one and a half over there. That's right, once we put this in here. That look good. I guess that's the first window. And then I did not leave much room between floors, unfortunately. There's just the one one space. Oh, it's open. That's weird. Oh no, okay, so we can we can add this in. Yeah, this is all one floor up here. That means this doesn't need to exist. So we have room. To do some designing. the same design. Maybe we'll go with like a slightly more narrow. Can you put... Oh, I thought you might be able to put stairs upside down. that go in there? So strange. I really don't understand why this is being so finicky. If I wanted a window that looks like that, and then that would also come inside. Just have to be careful that we are not 
Uh, well, this is that's a floor. Okay. I just can't come above there. Sanjius, I think if you take a time to just think about what was being said, then I think you'll realize that the moderation folks that I have are usually spot on. Uh, I want there to be a different angle, so maybe we'll grab um, one of these. I'm not sure if that's going to be too repetitive, but we'll go with it for now. I know what you said, um, Sangius. There's no need to, to reiterate. Um, and I deleted your message. Not a moderator. Sweet Sandy, I 100% agree. Right? Like, that's the, tr that's the trick. It's just making sure that you're paying attention to the style and the feel of the chat. So that is going to be one of these. I think I like it better with um, the angle at the top. Yeah, so I got it backwards. So I'll we'll use this one. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Sometimes it's cool to have those edges of the of the um, foundations show through too. actual window. I 
We have a lot more space, a lot more room. Imagine this without uh, a hypertube here. We could potentially move that into, I guess, into here if I wanted to. I'm not really sure where to put this. But it would give us a nice view in here. I'm debating as to whether we should put glass here or maybe we should leave it as like an open bay. Because the problem with the glass in this game, of course, is that it, um, it really obscures what you're looking at. So even if you take like a simple, one of the simplest windows they give you, which is this one. Well, that's not bad, I guess. I feel like this needs a little something in the middle, though. It's like we might have to go up a little bit here. Maybe. This might be better off down the other way. Hmm. I think I like that better. Hey, Word Nerdify, what's going on? <laughs> Needs a copper grate. Yeah. They are versatile. Kind of wondering if, if I change this to a steeper angle, if it would look good. Not as unique. Right, and this is actually on the floor level, right. So I wanna say we're probably gonna get rid of all of these. One thing that would pull me towards playing modded satisfactory would be some very obvious building parts, like a four meter wall that doesn't have those details in it. Something where you're not placing like so many objects over and over again. would be helpful. Uh, we're going to have to mess around with this, I think, for this to work right. Or I should have to move this in but I think the window looks so good like that. I don't think I would want to move this inside here. I think that would look a little bit silly. Uh, it's not bad.
I do like the idea of having a little bit of a floor here, though. I think that probably looks pretty good inside. Could you make a wall as a blueprint? Oh, you totally could. Yeah, but it doesn't place the way that you think it would. It's not as, um, it doesn't snap the way that a foundation would snap. It would be great if you were building something that's all the same wall. What I see people do more often is they'll design like a section. So like what I'll probably end up doing around the outside of Devastator, like all around the edges, um, where, not, not where these giant pieces are, but like over there, where is it? Yeah. So all of this, like all of these pieces that go down, I would probably design those in a blueprint. Yeah, that's cool depth, but I kind of wish I had done more, you know? That looks pretty good. And this is where I'm really not sure about these texture pieces. to have it the same on both sides that's for sure that actually touches the ceiling does that matter no So we could have the roof maybe change angle here. Good, you touch. Sweet. Or we could leave that open, too. Oh, thanks, Zero. There's a mod that has two-meter walls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to delve into modded. I just feel like it would just make my life more complicated than it needs to be. It's the kind of thing like I, I wish I had more freedom for that, but at the same time, I haven't... I feel like I'd have to start... Um, well, I guess, no, you don't have to start new. There's definitely some mod things that would be nice, like, you know, not having the sun go down. 
But then I would just have to have, use a timer for my breaks as opposed to the sun. Now, we could get away with some depth here. Eliminating that. That look good? Not really. Hmm. Trying to think about a way to cover up that hole in the wall without having it be something too boring. The easiest thing would probably be to utilize some layers. That's not bad. Then I only have to put two in here. Or even just one. Carbon steel, I think, maybe unpainted. Nope. Good spot for a light. It's 
Sky UI, yeah. No, I I, there, I know there's a couple of simple mods that really don't affect gameplay or building or anything like that that um, content creators use. Right? Oh, I have to do the same on the outside, and I don't have the room for that. Well, I guess the easiest thing is just to... I guess maybe we don't have to worry about either one. Do that on the outside. What happens on the inside? We have a gap there, but that's fine. I don't I think that really matters. line up and that looks okay in here and then we can maybe use something like that It feels a little bit problematic. Let's leave it like that for now. Oh, no. Bad. Dislike. Yeah, we've got some overlapping stuff on different planes here. We'll have to screw around with that to get it to look right. I did notice some missing pieces over here, though. Okay, overall not bad. Um, I kind of like the idea of this going down into the depths. I don't think it has to have like a floor hole. Because not to mention that floor holes are causing us all kinds of problems these days. So we could maybe look make this look a little bit cooler. Even if it's just like a half foundation. Holes like that will let the spiders in? Yeah, ain't that the truth. Alright, so I obviously put this here. I don't think there's anything on the other side. I can't remember. So this wall, I think, is just there from an old design. I think that's the new, the new wall. Judging from what looks like me marking out some territory there. would be neat to see this stuff so that could also be a, a wall or a, a window rather a 
but one thing we could do, I was thinking about using, again, these triangle bits to maybe accent this, I guess. We just end up with stuff coming in here. kind of cool. Again, most of the time you're not going to see it. So maybe that has to be higher in order to be seen. Yeah. Might be time to start moving these, uh, type of tubes. I'm not sure what it is today and not finishing my sentences. Normally I'm not that bad. Yeah, no critters in the factory. I agree. So that, it, st it stops looking like a cool accent and now it just looks like a green garbage bin, right? So I need, like, I need to figure out... A way to make that look cooler. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to someone that talks for a living about how to finish sentences, right? It could just be me being, you know, tired, you know? I mean, hiding it in here would be fine. We could just put some panels or something on that. That's not a big deal. I'm sure we could figure that out. Doesn't have a lot of of black on him. There's a little bit. Like you almost want to color this. You know, almost want to stripe it. Maybe not. Now it just really looks like a garbage can. Don't 
not even sure what, what those are supposed to be. Cable? Well, they're not hooked up at all. So here I am decorating something that's probably not even going to be there. All right. That's the sign to maybe not worry about that right now. construction floor and then presumably more windows but we could extend that window over to here at least I'm thinking for the depth here, maybe because it's such a big building, we can go in a bit. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't help us over here, does it? Unless I put these in. Because what I would like to be able to do is slope this. Oh, that's only a half, half bit. Maybe we have to push the windows in farther. Because this just feels very plain. Maybe this is the one that we put inside. Always forget how quickly you can just test stuff out. Yeah, I think that looks okay. We maybe we'll go with Better windows. The advantage here is that we can just come up to whatever level we want here so this could be a half foundation but then attached to that because we've only got yeah like we could come out a little bit that'll get more light coming in
Maybe not that steep. Or start lower. That gives like another two bits here. That just means we have to lower the ceiling inside a little bit. I wonder what that looks like. I can barely even tell. I like the angled look though. And then from down here. Oh yeah, that'll look cool. Obviously not uh, purple, or maybe not purple. I guess that could go the whole length of the new window. Oh, no. Right. Knew there was something. I mean, I could still technically do it, but it's pushing my suspension of disbelief, I guess. that to be out that far we do not <laughs> a little hit of bumblebee yeah I guess Lose the light soon. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's just something about that edge that feels wrong and can't go down any farther. I really can't even do that if I wanted to stay clear of everything. Not that we couldn't move this to a different spot. There's certainly room for it. Heck, we could have it happen above the floor, too. Yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of this sharp edge. I think maybe... Well, I mean, I guess we could always have an extra layer. So this started off as being the top of this window, but now it's it's more like it's the bottom of the other. And it would be fine if it wasn't for this stuff. All right, well, there's the sun, so let's take a break. I think the train is at the hub. Sure. All right, folks, once again, just taking a short break. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
All right, heading back from the outskirts. It's kind of like the edge of our train network. Ooh, squeaky mic stand. Gosh, there's still so much. I feel like I've fallen into this trap of having um, just so much temporary building around, you know? Thank you, Sandy. I was thinking about this section, this area here too, and thinking that we could simplify this by not having Devastator leave out of this way. We could have Devastator's track leave out the back and that could solve some problems. facing the wrong way. So let's take a look and see I guess I could probably do the same thing we did here and move this. I wonder if I could get it just a little bit higher as far as the hyper tubes. I would really like to be better at incorporating them rather than just kind of like laying them on top of stuff. That could be okay. leave there. Here's the floor. And then this, that, no, it's not that it's a different height. I wish you can connect these like pipes. That would be nice. These on the same, those are on the same. Same thing over here. Yeah, it cuts through just barely.
Oh, that's not right. Go hooked up in there. They are okay. So then I just need to get this over here. All because I want this to have stops along the way. Smoother ride. You're definitely not clipping through stuff. Here we can see how Joel is working hard to get the shapes in shape. Sweet Sandy, thank you for the TTS sticker. <laughs> The radio one's good too. Like the ones that I've got selected, I think were the cream of the crop. Like I really, I really like the way that they sound. Still feels a little bit strange here, but at least it's out of the way of of designing this wall. And I'm realizing that I'm doing all this, and I, I should probably work more on the inside before deciding what to do on the outside. It's another area that needs a repaint. And I may have to just like nix this idea. Yeah, I just it doesn't feel quite right. I think maybe this has to be a smaller window. take it to there and then like in here we could fudge it along that
Again, just trying to make it not look like it's a big barn. I like the combo there. That's kind of we don't really we haven't faded it away to nothing before, so that's kind of cool. I don't mind that this is all green. We could have something inlaid in it as well. That could even be a half foundation. Could get away with that, I think. The start, anyway. And this can probably be exposed too, right? Like we could probably have some sort of extra bit here for some sort of support because this feels very very unsupported we could just have a big column sort of like we've got these feet could have something like that down here too what do I have here like one two three four so yeah we have something larger over here All right, let's bop inside and see if I'm causing myself any any issues. This is all old school, early stuff that I designed, and so I'm not terribly worried about it. I'm not going to redo it. So what we can do is just try to choose some textures that I think will make sense. And I believe I had some stuff going over here that I quite liked. Uh, not on this floor. Wait a minute. Uh, must be upstairs. I think I had like purple. Yeah, purple and green. I like that. Kind of fun. So maybe we'll go with a purple floor in there. Don't have to. But I want to think about also the pathways and stuff. So... I feel like there should probably be a path, although this is going to be tricky, so there can't be one there. This we could just do like that caution thing that we did at the other, at Sunstreaker. I really liked how that worked out. So we could have something like this. Oh, you can't see it. To nudge that over. So make a custom color. If we want this to stay purple, it may not be the case. I also like having different stuff underneath the factory floors. So we could take this and we could either Go with like the purple and green.
or it would make a lot of sense to do a custom purple with a yellow or we could have it be black and yellow more basic do you like that unfortunately we can't do it here we'd have to go all the way to the edge because the patterns don't do half half patterns as far as I know there's this but it doesn't really help us I guess it sort of looks okay and you can't put patterns on half foundations so we'd have to reverse this. We'd have to put the half on the other side and then put the full foundation down there. And that's fine. That's easy to do. And then there's some flickering happening down here. I don't want to do. And then here we could probably get away with making all of this can I make this no I can't this could all be uh, asphalt and normally I try to color it with the same color but we could just use this one and then use the asphalt texture Patterns, just a little bit of extra detail. That's okay. Kind of quickly decide if all this looks good as copper or if it should be its own special color. That's pretty cool. Trying to stick with those primaries. Maybe a little extra yellow on these guys. But then we've got the inside wall and we can change the inside wall to whatever we want. I think this is an outside wall. No, that's inside wall as well. I know it does look kind of cool with them all dark. Maybe we maybe we just paint the belts and the outputs. And then like what color are those? It's one of the grays, I guess. Yeah, okay, so that's the gray. What about it's a little bit too dark? Chrome is too shiny. We could actually make them look like copper. But then that kind of clashes with the orange. 
I prefer the primaries. I think we just go with that medium gray. So do all the machines kind of to match this kind of smoky metal design that we've got going on. We'll paint all of the outputs and the belts. Sometimes there's a lot of um, hindsight in this game where like I would have done things a little bit differently. But then when you're playing the game in early access, like there are some things that I just didn't have access to because they just weren't in the game. So like you couldn't nudge, you couldn't do all this overlapping. So it, it became really tricky later on to not want to go back and redo a lot of your old factory floors because you don't like the way that they look, you know? Like, all of this could be rewired if I really, really wanted it to. Yeah, I think that gives a little bit of color, but then doesn't overdo it. Let's do the floor first. So, you know, it's just like Minecraft. When I'm digging a straight tunnel in Minecraft, I find it the most difficult thing to talk over. But then when I'm doing something complicated, I can just kind of talk my way through the thought process. But then stuff like this, where you're just kind of like trying to carefully aim and change the color of something. It just feels like it just takes up a certain part of your brain where you're like, this is just super chill, but I need to focus. It's weird. This one. I think that's everything. And then the line. We'll do the corners as well. Some of it obviously goes underneath the walls. I think that's pretty good. And now I can just kind of like systematically go up and down here and just change all the things that I need to change.
some of this stuff is just ugly. Cover pack makes this a lot easier, I can tell you that much. Okay, so that's all coming in there. I think I got all of this. Oh no, the belts. We didn't get the belts. that one, get that one. Good. Forgot that there's two layers to this. A really compact system for an early build. I'm surprised they didn't uh, add something into the game like a ventilation um, oops, um, mechanic. Like imagine if you had to figure out how to get all the smoke from these smelters that's happening inside your building. Some like because some of those building games have like a like a pollution mechanic, you know. Uh, City Skylines has it. A lot of games have it. I think SimCity back in the day had like a smog or pollution thing. Not sure Fixes is worried about ventilation. That's fair. And I guess I've got a mask on, like my character. So that, that, that tracks, Andy. You're probably right. Maybe they decided it wasn't, it didn't match with like the, the story and the humor. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, no, not quite. That's pretty good. This could probably use a little TLC from what we've got going on here at the metal. I wonder if we can do something here that would look good. approach. Looks a little bit more official. And then of course we've got all of these floor holes that are bugged for now. And I've got this open and I don't mind it being open. 
but I'm just not sure what we're going to be doing for the colors in here. I do have lights up there. The ceiling does not need to be that tall. That's the other thing. That's going to logistics floor in that section. I do like the idea of not seeing the lights, but then we have to figure out how to wire them. If we drop that down, then we could wire the lights better. How thick are these lights? We could also have the lights be sort of like embedded into the ceiling. I think that's centered over the... Yeah, I obviously wanted to center it over each row of machines. As best I could. can't do it over there they look to be about evenly spaced so I like the, the spacing of them it's just their vertical position is not quite what I want we do have lights out here too thinking I could maybe get away with having some sort of ramp Or we could just recess them. A thickness of one foundation might actually hide all the wiring. Because this has got foundations. Right, yeah, there's stuff up there. So they're going to droop down. Unless we put like a beam or something along them. So I could keep them at this height and then hide stuff at that height, I think. So now we just need to figure out which... How many do we want going down to here? We've got... Oh, maybe one, maybe two per per bay.
So why do these... Oh, that didn't start until over the machine. Right. Got one, two, three, four. I wish they gave us smaller lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. about even. And did I do that one right? I don't know if I did that one right. Okay, that looks to be about right for me. And the question is, when you start to hook these up... Yeah, that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we'll use this to, use, to put wires along. Probably with a beam. So then we can put, because I'm using single foundations on a, on purpose, because then we've got more positions for the beams, and then the beams we can use to hide stuff. Holy smokes, can continue. Thanks very much. Let me get outside where everybody can see. Frame rate going to slow. Let's flip around here. Continue raid. Thanks so much. Continue. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, continue saying thanks for the raid the other day. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for returning it. Wow, uh, welcome in, folks. Thanks ever so much. Uh, my name is Joel Duggan. If you have not figured that out already, the name is on the tin. Uh, I do satisfactory and Minecraft streams, and I also uh, do podcasts. So I have the Spawn Chunks podcast with my friend Pixelriffs and the Citadel Cafe podcast, uh, which I do with friends about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Uh, the Spawn Chunks is all about Minecraft. It's probably one of the longest running Minecraft podcasts out there right now. We've been up for about six years. Uh, I'm glad you said it because I kept saying Dugan. I get that a lot. It's fine. The two G's, two G's makes it Duggan. Um, but it is actually from O'Dugan, which is a, an Irish name. So it's kind of like a, a, a switched up or a, we'll say, a, an evolved pronunciation um i do legos as well yeah yeah i stream legos on friday normally um and uh right now we're working on a uh, satisfactory i actually combined two saves in satisfactory and i'll flip this uh, the camera around here and i'll show you in a second 
Uh, yeah, I do have a, a lot of Legos. There's um, that's the Piranha Plant, and then this Tie Fighter is actually on my computer right here in front of me. You guys can't see it, um, but I've got all kinds of different Legos around. Uh, we build them live on stream, usually on Fridays. Um, actually, where a really cool gift I got is um, one of the members of my community, community, Grandpa Crafter, made me a Lego mock set of one of my Minecraft builds, and that's what I'm I'm gonna try to finish that up tomorrow. I think. Um, but again, uh, continue. Thank you ever so much. Uh, my chat. Uh, we rated continue last week, maybe. Um, if you have not already, please go and check out what continue is up to on stream and follow them. Uh, I really appreciate the raid. Uh, and continue while you're here. Like, what were you doing on stream? Was it satisfactory? I think I saw you were playing satisfactory earlier. Um, made any satisfactory machines in Lego? I have not. Uh, Will Ali? Will I? Will I? Will I? Uh, I have not made any Lego stuff in um, satisfactory themes. However, my satisfactory themes are Transformers. So we are in the Devastator. Um, save which is a very large factory that's making all kinds of stuff we've got a big main bus pulling in all kinds of things we've got a big train station over there pulling in all kinds of things we're in the rocky desert and these towers to my left and my right are doing all of the iron on this side and all the copper on this side and we've got um some hover hover train designs happening here so it's like a suspended rail and of course the big the big chest plate for Devastator is the kind of the main piece right now. This is what kind of sells it as a, as a Decepticon Transformer themed base. Uh, so our storage is kind of like up and behind there, but we're going to move it to the very, very top. Uh, and then everything else in here is probably going to be another train station, hence the, you know, the train tracks going in. Uh, but we're slowly but surely working our way down uh, to these old um, update early access builds where we didn't have all the parts we wanted. And now we're updating them with like nudging and designing. So this is kind of all in the process of going from very basic, um, looks like a skyscraper, to something that looks more like a transformer. And we're just in the process. Uh, when you guys came in, we were just repainting some of my copper setup in here and trying to decide how to do the lighting uh, in here as well. So we just kind of finished painting all these machines, changing the textures around here, thinking about how we're going to put like some caution stuff down. So this is kind of like what we're doing in here. Oh, I've been playing for like four years. And most of it has been in this save. Most of it has been in this save. Yeah, this is um, this is signs. I'll get up a little bit closer so you guys you guys can see. Yeah, all the all the glowing lights are just signs. And that's there's no mods. I don't play modded. We can get up a little closer here. So these are just little little signs, and then some of the edges I've got the big longer signs. And that's all it is. So these are just a little I think these are the half yeah, half meter signs. Uh Thunder God 97, thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. I, I'm an artist by trade. Like I I went to school for art. I worked as an illustrator for 20 years and so podcasting and streaming is my full time now, but I, I have a lot of that spatial analysis and design and everything like that. So when you're um, when you're doing the factories and stuff, it's really fun to kind of come in here and start laying out different shapes and trying to make it look like it's from Cybertron, you know, trying to make it look like it's got that transformer vibe, but still staying true to some bright colors and and stuff. It's fun. I like that there's a I like the aluminum floor that we've got up top here. Some stuff is still um, work in progress, like the quartz in here. But up top here, very dizzy to get up here. Rooms like this, I'm really happy with. You know, we've got like all the stuff is happening under the floor, and then we've got this nice clean, clean area. But then all the all the guts are all down here, right? So this is doing aluminum casing and aluminum sheets. And then they all end up going outside. You can see them go over here. So they all start going out these little chutes and they all go outside and they go back onto the main bus. So they all come down here 
and then they head off to wherever we're going to do something with them next. Uh, love the hover platform for the whale. Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's a blueprint. It's a blueprint. So it, what you do is you just, um, once you have the blueprint all sorted out, uh, my blueprints are really messy. We made a new one yesterday for two. And I don't have enough quartz to make it. But once you, once you have your rails in place, you put this in after. And it works out really well. Uh, have to jet says continue, uh, but thanks for being so welcoming. I hope to catch you more, especially your Lego builds. Sure, uh, Legos right now are Fridays, one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for anybody out there. Um, but uh, thanks so much again for the raid. Continue. Very welcome to everybody in here. Thanks for the follows. I really appreciate it. I hope you're gonna enjoy the rest of your day hanging out with me. Um, and uh, again, folks in my chat, please go and check out Continue. Uh, they had a, a really cool stream with Satisfactory. And always cool to, to watch somebody that's new to Satisfactory kind of figure it out and, and play along. Um, anybody that just come in with a raid, if you if you want to see anything specifically, then let me know. I can, um, I can pop you around, show you. The sun's about to go down. We normally take a short break when that happens, but I'll go a little bit farther um, than that just because of um, you all just coming in. I don't want to just go quickly... Uh, away from I don't want to go AFK when you all just came in um I normally take a break about like once an hour um but we can push that down the line a little bit um show you the train station if you don't want ignore any of these weirdly strange colors uh we combined two saves I have a um a bunch of builds in the grass fields that I did when 1.0 came out uh this save was crashing in 1.0 so I couldn't play it, which sucked. And uh, now that it's not crashing, knock on wood, um, I combined the two saves. And so when I did that, I changed some of the color palettes. And of course that changed a bunch of stuff in the world. Um, and so when you look at the size of this, like you can see like this looks a lot like Devastator, which is the, uh, the transformer that we're basing everything off of. Like all my, all my designs and uh, shape language and colors and stuff for this particular factory are all being pulled from Devastator. Uh, and so this this kind of looks right. But then this <laughs> has got orange in it. I don't like, obviously some things got messed around uh, and it's not quite, you know, what we want. Um, and then obviously there's still like some of these are wrong. Like, I don't know. A couple of the palettes have just not been uh, the old Franken save. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really, I really like the builds that we did for Wheeljack and Sunstreaker. So I've got like a storage facility and I've got a computer factory and a circuit board factory. So, um, diluted fuel, I believe. Uh, what are you running for power plants? I will show you. We'll show you the power plant. I'm running uh, diluted fuel via blenders. Uh, it's 60,000 megawatts right now. You'll absolutely see it when we get on the train. Uh, so this is the main station uh, that's bringing in stuff from um there it was bringing stuff from there but all those nodes got deleted when they updated the game the bauxite and coal is coming from up there somewhere and those all come in via train and then this is just a construction train this one's not in use but i'll pop down and you can see underneath so all the trains are being emptied into this space under here still very much under construction and they're all being belted through this area here. So all the goodies come down through the buffers, get onto the belts, and then squirrel their way around onto the main bus. We still have some places left. Not everything is being used right now. Uh, but all of this just continues all the way down through Devastator. And then as you progress down through the main bus here, stuff gets pulled away. So like all this copper, this copper ore, that gets pulled into the building that we were just working on. You can see it here. They're getting, it's getting emptied and pulled off and sent in there. Uh, oh, that's not supposed to be there. That, yeah, that stays like that. Okay. So obviously there's still a few things that are uh, going along uh, this is the bauxite that's actually going into the aluminum down there uh, and then these are where are these going aluminum as well i think i can't remember 
I have it all written down somewhere. I have it all written down somewhere. Oh, the coolest bus. That's very kind of you. I th I am a little bit self-conscious about the bus. I feel like it's a little on the boring side, but um, we're getting there. And again, all the belts are colored really funny colors because I changed all my swatches. So when I did the colors in my 1.0 save, I took the time to like put all my grays across here and then have all like the Transformers primary colors. And I think I've got these two left to assign, but we've got like a pure black and a pure white. And it's really cool, but uh, it changed a bunch of paint in here, unfortunately. Let's just pop up. I think I was low on plastic. We gotta go, so I gotta go get some more plastic anyway. Um, which is where down at Megatron. Oh yeah, I am really low on plastic. I don't need all those plates either. I wonder... Oh, it's because I was changing textures. That's what's going on. One of these is leaves. There we go. All right, so all my plastic is down at, at the power plant, which you can see in the distance. So we are taking the oil from the west coast and that facility is turning it into 60,000 megawatts. Oh, where's my train? It's over here. I think I can go backwards through this. Yeah. All right. What's next on the list here? Let's go Megatron. Cool. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Your pet peeve in the game Zero is to have things move. Yeah, I I think for me it's because I play so much Minecraft and there's so little movement in Minecraft that having everything flow around and satisfactory is really kind of what I want to do. At the start of the game with Mark two belts, that's easy. Yeah, it gets more difficult, that's for sure. So this is the old roundabout over here on the right and the new one, which is much slicker, is, is over here. So this is eventually going to have to go, but I don't know yet how to replace it because it takes trains up to another level and I need to figure out how to get trains up to there easily. So we're pulling in resources from all over the rocky desert and they're all going into Devastator in one way or another. And I'm really looking forward to getting like the front of this sorted out, getting the sides decorated so it looks less like a kind of work in progress, but just like anything else, you don't want to rush through things because then you've got nothing left to do. So for folks that are left over here from the raid, um, what was continue doing? I know that they were playing Satisfactory, but like what, what were they working on? Was it Phase 2? Phase 3? Any were, any themed in the builds at all? So this is Megatron. There are 400 fuel generators, but I, don't long, I no longer need 400 because they changed the burn rate of diluted fuel. And so I could delete the top floor 
and everything would be running efficiently. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, Ale, they were working on aluminum. Oh, okay. Yeah, aluminum's tricky. Aluminum is tricky. So I'll show you around in here. Because this is very cool. And these, it's a little hard to see outside in at nighttime. But this is where I first came up with the idea of using some sort of like energy to make it look like it's it's supported. But these are really, really big platforms. And then the, you can see the blenders. Oh, that's the wrong way. We'll go down into the main area. Eventually we're going to have some trains come in through here. While I'm here, I need to get my plastic. Temporarily being stored. So in here, we've got the crude oil is coming in and being processed into heavy oil residue. And that's what's happening down all of these corridors is just refineries turning the crude oil, which is coming in in the floor, into heavy oil residue. And then we've got the polymer resin, which is the byproduct, and that's being turned into plastic and rubber. And that's just being stored. So this is our main supply of plastic and rubber. And there's lots and lots and lots and lots of these refineries. And they all send it into the middle here. Not sure if I've got a glass floor anywhere. Yes. So all of the heavy oil residue comes in through here. These used to be purple pipes, but now they're white. Um, again, something that needs to be repainted. And then heavy oil residue and water go up to the next floors and they get um, processed into uh, diluted fuel. And re residual fuel? Diluted fuel, I can't remember, I'll show you. And then the water is all coming in from the water extractors here. This is all built on top of the ocean. And so the water is right there, right? So you get the water level there. And so this is all coming in through here and then it gets pumped upstairs. And I'm trying to remember I think everything in here is green now? I have to repaint all of these? Oh, goodness. Well, it's a good thing I never finished decorating this place because I would have had to redo a lot. Uh, but the blenders are in rooms that will look like this, which is pretty cool. And let me just see if I can get in on one. What's the recipe? Heavy oil residue. Yeah, diluted fuel alternate. So heavy oil residue and water and it makes 100 fuel per minute. And then that, as you would suspect, gets pumped out. Uh, I don't think you can see it. I think it's actually hidden in the walls. Yeah, so these used to be all yellow. So this is your, your fuel that goes up. By the way, this is way more difficult than it needs to be because I've, I've brought everything vertical. If you didn't have to take it vertically, it would not be this complicated. And then each one of these is, um, I want to say there's 25 and there's 12 there, 12 there, and then one in the end. And so each floor is like a plus sign, right? With a north, south, east, and west. But then this, each other floor is rotated 45 degrees. So like floor one, floor two, and floor three, and then floor four. And unfortunately, the whole top floor just doesn't need to be there. So I can either reduce these down. I could like underclock them or I can get rid of the top floor. I'm probably going to get rid of the top floor and build something else up there. But this, for somebody that asked, this is where we're getting all of our power. And we are sitting at... Uh, 65 because of the power boost. We're sitting at 65. It's not um, balanced though. And we don't have the batteries hooked up yet. We're just still working on the design for that. 
think this is the train side. Yep. Cool. Used diluted fuel as your main power source in early access, going with turbo fuel. So, so that's something I could try to do. I could try to uh, retrofit this to be either turbo fuel or maybe even rocket fuel. I don't know if I have the room for it, though. Um, I'm going to turn back on. Uh, let's just go edit timetable. We'll go wheeljack. Construction to... There you go. So this will give you a little bit of a tour. You're going to go down to the grass fields. You'll see the white wheeljack factory and the yellow and red um, sunstreaker factory. I need to take a short break. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes. Uh, but sit tight. Enjoy. Uh, if you wouldn't mind um, sharing the stream on Twitter or letting a friend know that you're watching, uh, we are trying to grow the channel. So if you want to share it around, it's free and I would very much appreciate it. So I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
back to work. I feel like these are more green than they were before. I don't know why. I don't remember them being that Hulk green. I thought they were closer to the um, Devastator green. Thank you, Sandy. So we were working on the copper area when Continue sent over that lovely raid. So we're gonna go back in there and try to make things look a little bit nicer. We were working on the lights. So we did the windows out here today. And we were working on these lights. And I had, or have, yeah, that was probably a temporary thing. But we should be able to get the ceiling nodes, I want to say. Grab one of these. Line this up with that. And then... Well, that is completely inside. But I don't think that cover um, Yes, it's not going to cover the cable, so it's going to look a little bit funny. So what I would rather do is have that just a little bit higher. do it that way. And that shouldn't interfere with anything. So then we should be able to then repeat that process down here. It's in between the lights. So we'll go in between the lights and we'll do another one I guess in this space. Now the question is, how are we going to get things down over here? We could probably just move this over to there. And that's not what I want either. Hmm. <laughs> Ultimately, it's going to be really hard to see it anyway. I just unfortunately don't have any... Um, well, you know what? I guess I could lower these. Hold on. I don't have like a, 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 a drop ceiling, which is what I normally do. But... If I go down lower, uh, like there, then I can put these the other way around.
And then I can put them in here. Do I want that there? Uh, maybe. That might actually look cool. That hides the wire. This gets dropped. This goes to there. And I guess we don't need that part. Oh no, that would continue on, I guess. And I would probably make this a less problematic color. Man, tricky, tricky, tricky. Probably gonna be easier to do some of this from above. Just for the sake of getting this lit for now, or I have to repeat this like six times. That's on. Why isn't the other one on? really can't tell. See it a little bit there? But we can hide that with drop ceiling. I might want to put another beam here. just so it's like an, in an even box. And also, I don't think we want them to be white. I think we want it to be orange, because copper. I, uh, I almost like the look of being able to see everything up here, although I don't necessarily want that. Yeah, I think that looks okay. this open.
That only goes to there, so we'll go to, I guess, here. Yeah, that looks kind of different. I like it. And then in here we can come up with something to maybe have the ceiling look nicer. Pink, maybe? <laughs> so then this would start there. And then we have to go sneak up in here and do the same thing. So the full column would look like that. It's really hard to see with all the smoke coming up from the from the um, smelters. Yep. Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, I don't think we'll keep. Actually, you know, that's not bad. What I wanted there or what I wanted higher? I guess it's hard to tell. I mean, that's not going to be that texture anyway. I'm not sure what we would make that texture. Oops. Do we like seeing the lip of that, or do we think it looks better smooth? So like, I'm trying to decide if I like that sort of drop, or this sort of look. I think I like this one. I also need to figure out what kind of texture I want up there. Probably a coated concrete, so we're probably going to go with like a gray coated concrete. What do we have for coated concrete right now? Purple. Let's change that. What's my gray floor? Is it this one? No. Oh, that's black, right? No. What color is that?
Guess we'll just use that. So just a regular black floor should be fine. And then we'll fill in the holes. Should be everything, I think. Oh. Do we like that? I don't know. I guess it really doesn't matter. The reflection is what I was really after, so we'll probably just leave it. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Oh, those are the wrong height. I'll have to mess with those. Uh, and then I just need to... Oh, did I delete all the lights? I deleted all the lights. Crap. So we needed... This is directly over the machine. Looks about right. What on earth was that? That's lined up. And then if it's lined up over the machines... It, yeah, it's like right over tip of the smokestack. Yeah, it looks right. And then I just have to come down over here. That was on the edge of a foundation. So I'll have to do, I guess, a half foundation along here. Seems right. Oh, I'll have to do something about that here. Ah, maybe we'll just grab this, have that stop it.
And then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. And that adds a layer of complexity there too. Then we just need to make sure that this is lined up. Again, the smoke is <laughs> making things difficult. a little bit further along. The hitboxes on these lights is really large. Good, good. Thanks, Andy. I'm glad you like them. I find that this is... It's something that takes a lot of time. But if you've ever watched Fluxo, like the amount of time that Fluxo puts into his builds, it's there, there really is a payoff in the end, right? And I was definitely feeling a little discouraged um, around the time that I came back into Devastator after leaving the Cybertron world save because I just felt like there was just so much to do and I just didn't know where to start, you know? But I think that combining the worlds kind of forced my hand on um, stuff like swatches, getting my colors in order, all that kind of stuff. And now I'm feeling like I can make permanent decisions um, now that I have all the information I need, you know? Yep, I think that's looking cool. And I guess we could just do the same ceiling. Why does that look off? Oh, it's just an optical illusion. Here, I think it would be cool to have maybe a ramp. Maybe it's just good to have it straight.
Maybe. Yeah, that's feeling dark and ominous. We'll have to work out what we're going to do with those lights. Those are obviously temporary. We may even want to drop this down. Yes, I like the, the pop of color. The dark roof really helps. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember that. I'm going to have to remember the dark roof. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't space this out more evenly. Um, there's more... Well, I'm not sure why there's not more room on this side. I guess because... I centered it over the smokestacks instead of the actual machine. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should just move this whole... Well, that's a realization I didn't need. See, but then I'd have a half foundation there and a full foundation there. So, like, I really don't understand. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One there, one there, and one there. I guess the problem is that these are more than one foundation wide. Yeah, this one would be hidden partially. Maybe I can... I'll just move the center ones. Uh, maybe I'll nudge these ones over before I start putting the other ones in. Because then I can maintain that, that full... It would be symmetrical then. So if I take this and get you lined up and then put you in the middle of the foundation... that not where it was? No, that's weird. Okay, so I guess this one we have to move to the middle. And then this one, we have to just base it on being right next to that one. And then this foundation could be full. And that would line up. That'll still go to there. Right, I guess there has to be something up there too, doesn't there?
So in a way, that could have been a two meter. It's alright, we can fix that later. So if I do this, that should center everything. Thanks for the lurk, Zero. Appreciate it. Alright, so that means that this is going to go, and this is going to go. Glad we caught that. I'm not sure why I didn't clue in when these middle ones were not sent up with, set up with the middle pillars, you know? So we're going to take this one all the way to here. Do I want to keep that there? Maybe I want to keep that there. Right. Those could be two meters. That could even be a pipe, a uh, floor hole there if I wanted it to be too. Oots! About to head out. I hope to catch more satisfactory from you at some time. Your builds are very cool and inspiring. Well, thanks very much. I really appreciate you sticking around. Uh, thanks for coming over with that raid. Uh, follow me at Joel Duggan on Twitter or Instagram. That's where I post when I go live. And I, I have a schedule up. It's generally 1 o'clock Tuesday through Saturday. That's 1 o'clock Atlantic time, UTC minus 4 hours. But thank you. Great to see you. Thanks for participating. Always fun to meet new folks. Right, so I think we do need to take this all the way. I may even want to... Connect this. I know the beam connectors can cover some of this stuff up, but I don't like the look of them a lot of the time. Yeah, I don't know. It makes it look like a kid's toy, I think is my biggest problem with it. That's an outside wall. That's interesting. Yeah, we're probably going to have to change this floor hole to be something different. That's fine. I'll worry about that after I finish the lights.
something else about this that's nice is that if we do end up being caught out of sync with the um the day night cycle then we can at least work inside and still see what we're doing without having to have a um crazy flashlight on all the time That's the back ones hooked up. Second row. I guess I could just use the ceiling to line this up. Sorry for all the flashing. Oh, that's really off. all the lights now we just need the beams having some detail in the ceiling is really helping this room out for sure i don't know about 17 maybe even 10 percent did that do anything i don't know if that did anything Very orange. That might be a little bit too intense. I didn't notice the difference between 17 and 10 though. Did that change anything? Yeah, I guess it did. Cool. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. And then... I guess we have to figure out what's happening with this wall down here. We could potentially copy what's happening here. I feel like that's outside. Yep. I guess we'd want to put another beam. Is 
this drop down. And there goes the sunshine. Wow. I guess this might as well just be solid. Probably going to have to come up with a different plan for that. Feels very... Yeah, there's definitely some strange things. Why is that getting powered from over there? That must be powering something like a hypertube. Where do you go? Random pole. It was probably a hypertube at one point. The lights do look good in the dark, I agree. These ones need fixing, but, like, I think that looks pretty good. There's no light there, which is weird. You have to add so much. That's the half foundation thing there. I'll have to revisit this once we figure out what's happening on the outside of this wall, because we may need... Um, well, I can't say we may need depth. We don't have any depth, so... Whatever happens here, maybe we had a window here? I don't know. I'm trying to... that mix between, like, making it look like a cool transformer, but then also keeping it looking like a factory would be nice. And the fact that along here, we only have, like, a one... one thick wall, I feel like... This is going to be tricky. We get thickness here, but I don't have any here. And so that is going to be an issue, I think. I may have to go wider on this side. Very easy to get turned around. Yeah, I could build a second wall. I could I could mess around with it. I feel like I did that over here. There's like a half foundation relief. It's over. So I got some depth without adding like a full foundation. I just, I did this kind of a thing. Just messing around when they first released the, um... The nudging thing. Let's just have this not look like amateur hour quickly. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've definitely thought more about the different shape languages that happen inside of uh, Devastator and Transformers. So I think I've got a better handle on that now. What oh, did I just... I hope I didn't just make little buckets everywhere. No. Not sure why he was floating in the air. Yeah, overall not bad. Uh, still not done. Obviously, we've got a lot of kind of planning and stuff to do. But I do like the idea of changing this to black. You can see where I've kind of mapped off, like, this is where we need to keep the depth for the wall. Depending on how we handle that. And what did I say earlier? I didn't want to do the reverse of this. Keep this texture to run underneath there. Thank you, Sandy. I need to wrap things up here in a minute. Appreciate that, though. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. How is black? What do I have right now? That's the coat of concrete. How is that darker than the other black? I don't understand. Zero, zero, zero. And this is also zero, zero, zero. So why, when I paint one, is it a different color? Like, those are two different colors. Right? I guess it's the yellow? That shouldn't change that, though. So strange. Now, this will be tricky. Want to go up that high? Oh, 
Well, that's not right. That looks pretty cool. Uh, how do I want to do this? Don't think I want those overlapping. So we'll do a uh, question from Defro. What did I miss? Uh, do you have any specific rhyme or reason for to your swatches? Uh, yeah, most of it is focused on uh, the Transformers. So because we're doing a Transformer theme build, um, I was using a lot of grays because of the metal. That This was before they had the metals in the game. I still only really use the carbon steel and the chrome. Uh, but then the swatches are all um, uh, like specific... Um, like whites and weights. So we've got like a, there's a pure white and a pure black. And then there's, I think this is like 30%, no 45. But then this one has got the 0.15 down the bottom. And then the next one is a 0.15 or 0.2 on the top. So it's sort of like, takes this color and puts it up there and then takes this color and puts it up there although it doesn't really go all the way but I wanted grays and then it's just a matter of doing like the primaries you know like the blues the greens the reds the yellows the oranges and the purples specifically the purples for devastator and then there's a blue I have more blues than I need I just need to figure out which one of these swatches is assigned to Megatron uh, that water facility I showed you earlier because I don't want to change that and so whichever blue is being used in there is stay in here and then I'll either move this one or move this one. And then this one is in Sunstreaker. I maybe should have not kept that, but I don't know. I wish we had more custom swatches so that you could keep some custom swatches at the same time. I wish they would work the same. I just want to have more than one, right? I think that's the, the main issue. But yeah, it's mostly just primary colors. Like when you look at like Transformers and he's really green, you know, like you don't look at it and think like gray robot, like he's really brightly colored. Same with Optimus Prime. Like, he's blue and red, you know? Yeah, so I just want to grab this and see if I can't uh, stop it there. How would I do that? Right, okay, that works. But then it's not over far enough. So I need another temporary piece there. so hard sometimes. No! I think that's a pretty... I think that makes sense. That looks good. Sort of self-explanatory here. 
I guess I could try maybe that one having the full... Like, caution, you're in the corner. I don't know. They don't give you a lot of work, a lot of stuff to work with. I uh, wish you could name them. Oh, yeah. One thing that's nice about them is that I think you, you can probably see from what I've got going on here. You can put them on a hotbar. But what's nice about them is that if you take something specific from a section, so like the customizer here, you go to any of these colors. And if I put this on, well, this is my number one, right? On my hotbar. Uh, and then everything else is from here. But if I put this one on zero and I put this one on nine and I don't know, maybe under materials, I could put this, I could put like this one on eight. So if I hold down eight, if I grab eight and then hit E and hold it, then you get all your different materials. And if I do one and then I hit E, then it's just those five in the section, right? And if I choose any of the other ones and I hit E, then that's all your palettes in in the, the 18 that are in the bottom section. But it all corresponds to whatever section is in. So you could have like one material hotbar that could have here, 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 and there. So that's well, the four sections, seven, all right, you'd be stuck here. You wouldn't be able to have all these. Um, but you could have all these on another hotbar, right? So you could, you could have like the ones that you use the most all in one hotbar and go around paint and stuff and not really have to be bopping in and out of the menu. I'm really not doing the best. I am I should be taking more time to do that. But uh, The ability to add spitters, splitters and mergers and pipe junctions to the corners of belts and pipes. Um... I think you can do that now. I'm not sure what you mean by the corners of belts and pipes. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. If if it's if it curves too much, it won't let you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like if you've got a if you've got a belt that's curving, when you get too close to the curve, the the splitter, you can't do this, right? Like if you get if you get close to a curve, it'll say like you can't go there. Yeah, I know what you mean. I have better hot bar management than you do because I have hot bar management. Well, that's fair. Um, this was the essential one. And then I've got foundations, walls. But see, I don't need all these walls because any one of these walls, you know, I feel like it's just there's too many hotkeys sometimes. Having one for piping and having one for paint is really cool. Really helpful. But anyway, I need to run because I've got plans this evening and I need to go. Uh, but this is looking pretty cool. I feel like we may want to have a higher walkway. I may want to continue this walkway a little bit. Um, I feel like when you're down here, you don't get to see much. It is pretty cool, but something I, I need to do better in my factory designs is have higher sections. Like this whole thing could be higher, really, if I wanted it to be. Um, yeah, so what will happen here next time is going to be fixing this to make it look nice. Um, everything from about this point on is okay. It's just this is not great. And I'd like to bring some of that stuff in. Uh, we have to have to decide on the wall colors and some overlapping patterns and stuff. All the kind of things that you saw in Sunstreaker. Actually, before I go, why don't I just get on the train while I'm talking? And I'll take you guys down inside of Sunstreaker and Wheeljack. Because I don't think anybody that's new today has seen that stuff. Don't remember where the train left off. I think it's over here. No. Ah. Big head face, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Let's. Are you going. Let's go to Wheeljack. Why are you going so slow? 
Oh, you were already docking, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I need to have a connection that goes out the back here because it'd be a much shorter route. It's starting to feel like an apartment complex. I needed to try to make it look more like a factory. So one of the things that I was doing a lot of down in um, the Wheeljack and the Sunstreaker factory was using the, the nudge technique to move the half meter thick walls like half a meter towards you or half a meter away from you. And it ends up giving you a lot of depth and decoration capability. Zero, thanks very much for being here. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Sandy, it must be getting late for you too. I think there's still some people that came over with the uh, continue raid, uh, but thank you so much for sticking around. Really appreciate it. 10 p.m. Wow. I'm heading out to the pub tonight with uh, the guys. Our monthly meetup should be a good time. I finally got a good night's sleep last night. I, uh, this week has been nuts. Oh, thanks, Andy. Yeah. We've got a, like a standing, a standing invite. So it's, it's nice to have. My shot is really tight today. I, I must have screwed up when I was setting up the camera. At least the piranha plane is still in it. Oh, why are you going in here? It's not where I want to go. Dumb. Yeah, Sweet Sandy is way up north. We joke around in North America that I'm from the north, but Sweet Sandy is north of north. Cheers. Thanks, Errol. Have a good night. Appreciate it. I've definitely lost the sunlight in here, too. I'm trying to figure out what lights to order from Amazon, and man. Oh, man, that whole thing is green. How did that happen? I, I played in this yesterday. How did I not notice that that was all green? That has to be a bug. Because that did not happen. I really feel like I would have noticed that. Bugs are green. No, like, I, we were here yesterday. I feel like I would have noticed that that wasn't gray. It would have happened when I updated this watch. So, whatever. Fits with the gas. Yeah. Crane's not rendering in as new, too, since 1.0. Yeah, so granted, these are much smaller factories. Um, for anybody that's still sticking around with that raid, uh, we were down here at the early part of the stream, but not for the last few hours. And uh, these were modeled after Autobots. So Wheeljack is the white factory. And then, obviously... The green one in the back is supposed to be red. But then this one here... I'm gonna get off here. This is supposed to be Sunstreaker. And... You'll see what I mean. With all the layers. 
right? Like being able to nudge these wall bits out. You, even if it's the same color, it just gives you some depth and some design overlap and stuff. So we've got foundations in there and then we've got stuff overlapping them in these panels. And I really like the way that it worked out. And it worked out really well inside too. You can layer things like this, have like little overlaps. And then inside, same idea. You know, like you've ha you've got walls, but then you've got other walls on top of them. And having this level of of layers, I think, really, really helps. So this is the kind of like primary colors, basic shapes, fun designs I'm going for. You can see where I got the idea for the orange smelting, the copper. And then over in the Wheeljack factory, we've got a lot of overlapping here, here as well. And this was just like the trim. So just on the outside, this is all foundation, white foundations, and then having the green trim or the black trim just kind of stick out a little bit. I find that that's really helpful too. We discovered that I didn't choose the right save in here, so it's a little bit funky. Yeah. Having this level of, of overlapping stuff, I think, really, really helps. Even just giving your doors, like, a little bit of depth, right? I think that works out really well. Anyway, uh, thanks again for everyone that came in with that, uh, the continue raid. But this is where I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Let's see who we can find. Survey says, who's streaming? Uh, hey, Woe Jess is streaming. I think you will enjoy them coming in from continue. I think Woe Jess is probably right up your alley. So we're going to raid Woe Jess. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, Friday at one o'clock Atlantic. I plan to get back into Lego. So I've got to clean off my desk and, and sort out what's happening uh, over there. Uh, but uh, you can tune in for that. Check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. There is a Patreon page if you'd like to join the Discord for as little as $2 a month. I would really appreciate the support, but then you also get to hang out with all the, the crazy cool people that you've been seeing in chat today. And that's at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Uh, you can check out the podcasts. They're free. Uh, you can go to the spawnchunks.com or the citadelcafe.com. Uh, both of those are available on any podcast app that you normally look for them on and also on YouTube. So again, super easy to find. Just search for the shows by name. Uh, everything is linked from joelduggan.com. So if you ever forget of like, where did Joel say that was? Just go to joelduggan.com. Everything is linked from there. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again for the raid continue. And uh, thanks for all the new people for the follows. Thanks for the bits and the stickers. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye for now.